Hello everyone, just a short update here. So a few days ago, Ukrainian sources reported that on the 15th of July, the last Russian warship left Sevastopol. Well, we now have confirmation that that is true. Satellite imagery over the past month or so, which I covered in past videos, showed that the last warships there were a Krivak class frigate and a Bora class missile corvette. The Bora was seen a week or so ago, having moved to Novorossiysk from Sevastopol. Now, Satellite imagery shows that the second Krivak frigate is there too. Here we can see satellite imagery, not the clearest, of Nova Russis naval base. Highlighted near the subpen is one Krivak class air defence frigate, near an alligator class landing craft and two kilo submarines which you can see in the subpen. And on this image here, starting with the left, we have the second Krivak. One Krivak was moved here a month or so ago, leaving just one Krivak remaining in Sevastopol. Now, both are here. These are air defence frigates. I assume the other Krivak was originally left behind in order to provide air coverage for Sevastopol. Maybe whilst additional S400 and S300 batteries are set up to protect um, Sevastopol and the buildings and the structures there. Now, the Krivak has been moved here, so no warships remain in Sevastopol. Interestingly, there are a few ships from missing from Novorossiysk as well. In this image here, both Admiral Grigorovich class frigates, the SN and the Makarov are here. Also in this section of the base, we have two of the three Boeing M missile corvettes currently in the Black Sea. An additional Kilo submarine, and then at the very top, three minesweepers. Two are Nati class, one an Alexandric class. Here start at the top a Gora class minesweeper, and the third Boeing M missile corvette. There's also a Rapua, a Vishnu class intelligence ship, and a second Rapua. Now, in the centre, you can see a pair of Project 2216 patrol vessels, and at the next berth, a Grisha class and a Rapua class. Finally, the third 22160 and another Grisha class. So, that's pretty much every major warship of the Black Sea Fleet accounted for. Both Grigorovich class frigates are here. Those launch caliber missiles at Ukraine. Both Krivak air defence frigates are here. All three Bowie and M Corvettes, which also launch caliber missiles, are here. All three Project 22160 large patrol vessels, which carry out the bulk of Russia's patrol operations and escort duties, are here. The main class of ship missing are the Tarantul missile corvettes. They haven't appeared in Sevastopol in any recent satellite image, nor at Nova Assist. One of these was sunk by marine drones earlier this year. It's possible they are now kept among Crimea's waterways and small harbours and small ports to carry out patrol duties. I personally think they may now be stationed in the Sea of Azov, as there hasn't been a sighting of them for months. And as we saw in the video, they are completely incapable of defending themselves against marine drones. The other vessels missing are basically minor craft, like the Gratinot class shown here, likely kept elsewhere in a smaller port or harbour, nothing of any consequence, all the major ships are here now, none remaining, no warships at all, at Sevastopol. A noteworthy absentee is the Yuri Ivanov. This was hit by a storm shadow a few months ago, it's an intelligent ship. It seems odd to keep just that vessel at Sevastopol on its tod, Sevastopol is where it was last seen. So, I wonder if... Despite it still being able to float and not being destroyed as such, it still isn't seaworthy enough to risk leaving Sevastopol Harbour. But it's pretty much safe to say Russia has effectively abandoned Sevastopol. No major warships remaining inside, although the utility ships such as oilers and the like do remain. So Russia's main Black Sea fleet base is Nova Rysysk. I guess this is why we're now seeing Ukraine's marine drones hitting smaller boats such as the Tunets class and Tugs. There just aren't any major targets available because we're all here. So that's it for this video. Hope you found it interesting. Now I'm going to play a video about a new fundraiser for a new charity, Cars for Ukraine, who supply many vehicles to the Ukrainian armed forces. The donation information is in the description. Thanks so much and take care everybody. We are medics of 3rd Separate Brigade, operate in a very hot spot in Kharkiv region, where Russians form a new front. We have the right skills, equipment, and even a dog to cheer everyone up. But what we lack is will to operate fully effectively. 
We've joined the efforts with Scar for Ukraine to raise money for five pickup trucks that will be purchased and delivered to us for further medical setup. Car for Ukraine has been actively helping wearers all over the front line delivering the total of 430 vehicles. Help us keep our Ukrainians alive. Donate at car for Ukraine come together to our shared victory.